It is almost 10 to 5, and it is cold. Temperatures in the 20s here in East Providence. Probably colder in some other spots. I did see some frost on some windshields driving in this morning. Now, do you know where your scraper is? It's that time of year, right? We have lots of nights this week that'll be dipping into the yeah. 20s. Let's take a look at the current conditions in New Bedford right now, and it's quiet out there. The skies are dry, and it's been mostly clear through the night with temperatures that are been sitting below freezing for a few hours now. 28 in Smithfield and Providence, 29 in Newport and 27 degrees in Westerly. We'll see fading sun during the daytime today with highs like yesterday running in the middle 40s. Uh, chilly rain on the way for tonight. Yeah, there's still the potential for a few wet snowflakes to mix in with the rain in far northwest Rhode Island and then a chilly week and weekend lining up for us. Temperatures, as we've been talking about, are running mostly below normal for the upcoming week. And today's one of those days. We start off with some sunshine and areas of frost. 8 o'clock this morning. Temperatures are around 32 by noontime. 43 mid 40s for the highs today. Winds are light out of the north northeast about 5 to 10 miles per hour and will be mostly cloudy as we head into the early evening hours. But we're dry on our radar. So you're heading out for your morning commute. You're not going to find any weather related troubles for you. The areas that we're watching here for some unsettled conditions. This area of low pressure over the Midwest and deep south here, that low that you see down close to the Gulf Coast, that's going to be lifting up and passing nearby us in southern New England, delivering that chilly rain. And for some parts of central and northern New England, even the higher elevations of Northwest Connecticut and Western Massachusetts. Maybe a little bit of snow and ice here's six o'clock this evening. We're dry for the evening commute in eastern New England by about nine o'clock tonight. We'll see the leading edge of that precipitation moving in and the temperatures during the night will be rising. So our best shot for getting any snowflakes would be at the onset of this precipitation. So before about 11 or 12 o'clock tonight, but even then you can see most of that wintry weather staying to the north. So a chilly rain falling throughout the night will wake up to those showers and drizzle tomorrow morning. Some higher elevations from the Berkshires north could be still seeing some wintry weather. Meanwhile, scattered showers will taper off by the early afternoon with drier skies to finish out the day. As far as any snowfall accumulations go, they're confined again to higher elevations of central and northern New England. May get a little bit of ice accumulation too north of the Mass Pike. And that's where the winter weather advisory has been issued for the overnight hours tonight. Highest. Uh, accumulations will be found in far northern Vermont up in the mountains where they could get more than six inches of snow. Good for the ski resorts there. Meanwhile, our temperatures will be climbing during the night, so bottoming out around 35 to 40 and by tomorrow morning will be close to 50. So a milder day for tomorrow, but it comes with some rain. We'll be seeing highs from Providence south into the 50s before those temperatures cool back off in the afternoon and evening. Back to the chill for Thursday, Friday and the upcoming weekend highs middle 40s. Thursday and Friday weekend temperatures only in the lower 40s. And as I mentioned, lots of nights in the 20s. You can